Zambia NIS um, and Life Skills Training Program is um, an integrated uh, scalable program which uses uh, technology to respond to the demand for employment among young people in Zambia and uh, it also responds to the critical shortage of um, health workers in the country. Zambia has got big human resource shortage in the health sector and one of them is the nurse. And for this reason, we have partnered to train 6,000 young people as a nurse and midwife. Our promise to the young people is that Child Fund and AMRAF remains committed to ensuring that they acquire the skill they need to break the cycle of poverty and become uh, productive citizens of the nation. The Zambian program is uh, one of uh, are the core programs that we have in uh, Southern Africa and uh, it is about uh, training health workers. Human resources for health is core. Health Africa uh, wants to do in the next two years and uh, probably for a long, long time given the shortage of health workers in the continent of Africa. We've targeted rural youth for the many problems that they face. One of them is a lack of access to services that um, may help them to realize their potential. And that's why this um, program is exciting because it has a scholarship component to ensure that the youth who may not have an opportunity to get into a nursing school or who may not have the capacity to pay for the fees that are charged in the nursing schools are able to access the um, training. When I started uh, doing nursing, we were told that Child Fund is sponsoring students so all, all you, are, you have to do is just to apply, which I did. I involved my parents to apply for my sponsorship. Then they responded to me, they gave me a 100% sponsorship. It has been sponsoring me from first year, now in second year they've been paying for my school fees. The, the program is a partnership between Child Fund and uh, our Minister of Health, AMREF, and of course our generous funder, uh, MasterCard. It is not a project that comes to an end. You still have students in school. If you are training a nurse, you have to see them to completion. You have to see the midwife to completion. So I see this as a program that continues, that grows to go beyond the nursing profession. The human resource is one of the biggest challenges that we have currently as Zambia in terms of human resource for health. And we have developed the human resource strategic plan and through that one there is a national training operational plan of trying to ensure that we respond to the challenge of human resource shortage in our institutions. When you look at the available places for enrollment in our schools, they are overwhelming. You have limited this space. Maybe you, you can only accommodate up to 50 students and then you have 1,000 applicants. So out of 1,000, you only get 50. When we looked at our traditional way of teaching, especially our nurses, we realized that it would take us a long time for us to have the appropriate number of nurses. And because of this, our nursing fraternity was challenged to see how we can increase on the index. We then put together a proposal if e-learning is possible for the training of the nurses. Unfortunately, we got support from partners and uh, that's how the Zambia Nurse Life Skills Training Program started. Child Fund has been supporting more than 800,000 uh, children and youth and including their caregivers. And uh, we also promote societies whose individuals and institutions participating in valuing, protecting and promoting the growth and the rights of the children and uh, the users who make up up to 66 percent of the population in Zambia. Child Fund and its partner AMRAF, this is one of our signature program which we can uh, be very fully confident because this training actually it's not an in-service it's a pre-service. Students are coming from high school and immediately joining and learning through e-learning to become a nurse, a registered nurse. When I completed my secondary school, I went back to the village to live with my parents. That's when I had uh, the advert that e-learning has been introduced to sponsor student nurses. So when I had that, I, I was moved to come here and find out really what is e-learning and what is it all about. 
the training model is called e-learning, which is electronic learning. It's more like distant learning, only you are given all the required materials that you need at the beginning of the program. It's not much difference from the regular training. The only difference is we do not uh, attend class as frequent as the regular students. The e-learning module, we get only 10% from the tutors and 90% is um, on ourselves. We spend only three weeks in class with the tutors, which is called face-to-face. -face. And then afterwards, there's a period called uh, self-directed, where we have to go and study on our own, then revise for a week or two before going to the skills lab, then to the clinical area. The program is unique because it's self-driven. Like, uh, you have to be self-oriented when you're doing a learning program and it creates more opportunities in future whereby you can do any course, any form of course do, do, uh, using a learning program. And it's a program which can sharpen you, your mind and help you become mature whereby, whereby anything else and any challenge that may come in life you can overcome that challenge. The life skills component is another exciting component of the uh, program. It was uh, integrated in the NEST training program to help prepare young people for life. You are looking at decision making, you are looking at negotiation skills, you are looking at just preparing them for the transition from school to to work and it makes them more proactive and um, we've learned that uh, it helps young people to be more resilient and the most exciting is that it has been adopted in the NES curricula for all students in Zambia. As e-learners they are taught also the skills how to manage themselves to cope with the pressures because there is pressure in the health sector. When e-learning started, most of the nurses and uh, the in-charges, the words, they didn't accept us. They said, you cannot uh, study nursing using computers. They, they didn't accept us, so it was a problem. Being the, the first group of e-learning, so everything was just being tested on us. So the internet issue is still a problem up to now. We're not able to communicate to our tutors. We're not able to send assignments. Each time when you're introducing something which is new, there are these fears. You do not know, is it going to work? Particularly when you look at nursing practice, this is a profession where somebody would not really imagine someone learning while at home. From inception, the way we've been training nurses, you'd find that they are confined to a nursing college. Now, just to move from that pattern of training nurses to distant learning, or e-learning, it has been something which is very challenging. Most of the people, including myself, I thought it was not workable. We thought probably it would be more suitable for the in service program, but uh, now almost everybody is saying it's the, it's the right program. The e-learning students, the feedback we get from the, the clinical area is that they, ha they need minimum supervision because they are self-directed, so they, they work compared to our regular students who most of the time uh, wait for instructions. The difference that can be noted with um, the e-learning students and the regular or traditional students, what you find the e-learners, you find they show more dedication. They want to spend more time when they are on the words, they've been taught something, they'll try and find extra time to do more practice. We are implementing e-learning programs in 10 of our nursing schools in Zambia. And these include Muflira, Ndola, Livingstone, Kitwe, Mansa, Solwezi, Mukinge, Chikankata, Kasama, and Chipata nursing schools. One of the areas probably was the challenge of trying to fit in this Elena in practice. I think unanimously we agreed to the concept of having a mentor to guide the Elena while in practice. We are identifying people in every site where the students are practicing. We have 424 students enrolled in the program using the e-learning model. The students have been transformed into self-learners. They are quite assertive and their performance is not different from those undergoing the regular program. The partnership that the Ministry of Health has with um, AMREF and uh, Child Fund, it has uh, brought uh, a number of benefits, improving the capacity 
of um, the tutors and uh, other nurses who are being trained as uh, mentors. So they, have, they, have, they are benefiting in terms of uh, capacity building. The learning materials that have been uh, developed and are being made available for the students. The lessons we have learned through the implementation of this program is the fact that the students have been transformed from being dependent on the lecturer to being independent. They are able to search for information on their own and learn to appreciate issues. And we also learned that um, attitude contributes a lot to the success of any program. As a ministry, we'll be patient, we slowly build capacity. Some of us doing ICT is a bit of a problem. We have also learned that uh, it is possible to train nurses using distance learning. This is a sustainable program. One, it is being um, conducted in schools that are already established, managed by the government, and which have stable staffing. And the fact that whatever documents that we are developing for use, they will be left with the nursing council to use, meaning that we are aware of the processes of training an e-learner. Our students, we need to give them all the support that they need. They are our future leaders. These students are the future trees now. They are seedlings and small trees. They will be the big trees providing fruit. The youth are the futures of tomorrow. So it's better government invests in us so that we can have a future and develop the country in years to come. We are the future leaders because we are still growing up. So if they are to educate us now, we are going to change Zambia in the future.